I'm submitting a proposal for the new library down in Tacoma, so I need someone to stay home and stay with him. Don't look at me. I've spent the last four Saturdays doing homework. This girl's in a rut. I need a boyfriend or a hobby or something. Uh, yeah, Ange, please, I want to go to the fair. I mean, I just love how that guy tries to guess my weight. Oh, look, we found a volunteer. I know I'm late, but I was working with my study group and we kind of lost track of the time. So, I'm sorry. You know, you've been late four times this week. So now I don't feel bad about telling you that you're gonna stay and watch Gary tomorrow while I drive down to Tacoma. Oh, come on. Everybody's gonna be at the fair tomorrow. Sorry. I got it. I'll take the little man with me. Gary's not feeling well. Is he faking it? Oh, fever No, get over it! Missing like gumbo, the Romeo show competition. I crumble, I mean, I can't be stopped. I will not quit, cause me and the man made straight up fits. So, adi adi yo, adi adi ro. It's time for the Romeo show where kids have fun, they can catch a diss on peer pressure. Ain't nothing real life outcome. Okay. Don't let them fan around too much, give them plenty of fluids. All right, let's go over it again. Take his temperature every couple of hours and make sure he drinks his juice. Ange, I know. He's in good hands. Have a great meeting. Oh, I feel so bad about leaving a little guy with a fever, but this meeting. Ange, don't worry about it. He'll be fine. I know you're right. I'm just having a little bout of quirky mommy guilt, but listen, Ro, I'm sorry that you had to miss your fare today, but it's just really important that you understand that when you say you're going to be at a certain place at a certain time, that you take it seriously, OK? Say no more. I learned a valuable lesson about Responsibility? That's it, the big R. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave now, but I'll be checking in later. I'll be here. Sorry, little man. But now it's time for the operation of Rocket by Garrett. <laughs> Point three. Man, you need to rest. Why don't you just lay down? Just a sec. You're charting your temperature? Some people do crosswords when they're sick. I do this. There you go. Just listen to the waves. Now, is there anything I could do for you before you drift off into La La Land? Can I have some more milk? Sure. <laughs> How about a story? Sure. And so finally, Mr. Snaz said goodbye to Laney Bear, and they both lived happily ever after. Sleepy? Get in there. Living on the fringes of society. Uh, 
don't live on the fringes of society. I live in a condo. Oh, but surely you've got some gritty stories for a fledging reporter like me, wanting to make a name for herself. Took an airplane once. Interesting. Go on. That's it. Still got that little bag of peanuts. <clears throat> Myra, what are you doing? Just trying to dig up a story for journalism class. Casey's on the case about getting a story. And it won't be about Mr. Snore a lot. Huh. So, how much? Depends on what you want. Are you gonna get a tattoo? I don't know. Some of these are kind of cute. I wouldn't rush into it. Maybe bring Angeline down here? Hey, yeah. I'm 18. I can make my own decisions. Uh, blonde is right. You're little young. I want this one. <laughs> right out on the street. Is it yours? So here are the details. Gary's upstairs out like a light. I forwarded the home phone, running my cell phone. Angelina be calling to check in. So whatever you do, don't pick up the phone. Got it. Question for you. Shoot. You want to go chill with Peyton? I don't mind doing you a solid, but why do we have to lie about it? Would Angelina really mind? Right. I'm just changing up the plans a little. It's not a lie. Feels like a lie to me. So bad. I use a special process. Here's my business card, in case you have any uh, problems. Well, thank you, but I won't need it. <laughs> if you say so. Check this one out. Bro, you did it! Did it for you. Romeo Miller. Romeo! Angeline, hey, what's up? Hey, I'm just calling to check in on Gary. How's he feeling? What's all that racket? The TV. Let me turn it down. OK, so everything's OK? Uh, yeah. Gary's sleeping like a baby. How's your meeting going? It went great. I got the job. You're done already? That wasn't much of a meeting. Well, like I said, I got the job. Well, I just wanted to uh, let you know that I'll be home in 20. Romeo? Hey, Ru, you want to go inside? I can't. I got to go. Ru, wait. What's going on? It's a long story. Riley's watching Gary for me. That doesn't sound like a long story. You're right. He's a cutie. my tennis but where are your pants you ever try to play tennis in jeans look Ant's gonna be coming through that door in about two seconds so put your pants back on <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, okay. I just gotta remember where I put them. You lost your pants? Hello? Oh! Hey, Ange. Hey, Ro. How's it going? Oh, Gary's upstairs sleeping, and... Hello, Angeline. Oh, hi. And Riley came over to hang out. Lend me a hint. That's right. <laughs> when I heard that the little man was feverish and Ro was assigned babysitting duties, I said, Ro, count me in. I'm here to help. But you're home now, so my work is done. Well, thank you. You're a good friend. What's up with the pants? <laughs> Do you like them? This is the new style called stubbies. Stubbies, really? Oh, yeah. That's the new thing. Actually, I'm gonna go get me a pair of stubbies, too. <laughs> Riley, catch you on the rebound. Thanks. <laughs> um, <clears throat> aren't you forgetting something? That's a dog. That's your dog. It's my dog? It's my dog. Dave, little Davy boy. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't really seem to like you that much. Uh, that's because Riley just got. They say dogs are man's best friend, but dogs really don't like brushing in relationships. <laughs> okay, uh, goodbye, all. I'm out of here. Is it a rat? It's a mouse. N isn't he adorable? Uh, absolutely. I'm just um, surprised that you went through with it because, you know, a tattoo is something that lasts a lifetime. I know. I just saw it looking up at me and I went for it. From this day forward, he'll be a constant reminder to be spontaneous. Well, he does have cute little beady eyes. You think his eyes are beady? No, no, wrong choice of words. He has cute little eyes. I love it. I do. Well, good. Yeah, let me see it again. Yeah, he's really cute. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go make some tea. You want some? They're not beady. And that's it for sports. Coming up after the break, and on a much sadder note, Mama Luisa Ramos has lost her pride and joy, her beloved little chihuahua, Nacho. Nacho gave us many a laugh and a tear as he became the little dog we all love to hate, appearing in over 65 of Mama Luisa's commercials. That's Mama Luisa is said to be very distraught and is offering a reward for Nacho's safe return. Back to you, Kathy. Thanks. That dog looks identical to Riley's. <laughs> Similar, but no. <laughs> well, how did you know he said he just got them? Romeo, did something funny go on here today? Uh, nah, it's all good. <laughs> good night. Morrison, the young hero who rescued little Nacho and put the minds of an anxious city to rest. Riley, how did it all happen? I was riding the bus on the way home from the Center for Underprivileged Youth, where I spend most of my free time. I looked out the window, and there he was. What is he doing? Riley found Mom Luis's dog, and I finally got my scoop. I caught up with him. He was cold, scared, and I couldn't believe my eyes when he jumped into an open well. Anyway, when I heard Nacho barking, I knew I didn't have a choice. I had to go in. So I repelled my way to the bottom of the well. I picked him up, put him in my pack, and brought him up to safety. Wow, what an unbelievable story. Uh, Mama Luisa, how about that reward? Here you go, you big, beautiful boy. A hundred dollar gift certificate for Mama Luisa's house of burritos. This is not good. Maduro, jealous. Romeo Miller, friend to boy hero Riley Morrison. Your thoughts? 
Hey, Ru, what's up? Note to self. Something's fishy. Answer any more questions. What are you doing? People love a hero. I know, but don't you think your story's getting a little out of hand? Well, what do you want me to do? Tell him you found the dog? No, but you don't have to keep going on and on about it. People will start knowing you're lying. Hi, boys. Myra, how's your story coming? Actually, I just came to check out a few of these facts. Facts? What facts? Hungry? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This morning, you said you were riding the bus past the fairgrounds, right? Yep. Well, there isn't a bus that goes anywhere near the fairgrounds. Who cares? <laughs> and I also checked. Where's this well that Nacho supposedly jumped down? The only well water is in North Seattle. My, the important thing is, is that my man here found the dog. That's the story. Exactly. <laughs> I just can't help feeling that you're covering something up. Time for algebra. <laughs> Let's go get our books. I have never seen you two so excited to get to algebra. That's suspicious, too. All right, Myra. You're right. There is more to the story. There is? I knew it. Look, just meet me at my house today after school, and you'll get the whole story. Give me roll, Tiny. You do masterful work. I just realized that I'm not really a tattoo kind of girl. Quite all right. I knew you'd be calling me. He did? Yeah, when you've done this as long as I have, you sort of get a sense. So, I heard the removal is painful and expensive. Well, some guys use lasers. They hurt, and they're expensive. Well, money is no object, so that's all right. Honey, you're doing the right thing. I'll pay for it. I'll, I'll get a job. I'll get two jobs. I don't care. I just, I just want this thing to stop staring at me. Well, I use a two-step process. Step one, put some of this on. So the day we went to the fair, I was supposed to be home watching Gary. So you actually found Nacho. Right. And Angeline can't know that or I'll be in huge trouble with her. I could have found him. Anyway, ever since Riley been running his big mouth, this whole thing been spinning out of control. And Myra's going to figure out what really happened. Guess I'm not as good a liar as you are. You know what? You're right. I wish this whole thing never would have happened. But we need one little favor. We want you to back up our story. Yeah, Myra doesn't trust us. Wonder why. Look, she's not going to stop until she hears a story that makes sense. Hello, Romeo, I'm here. That's her. All right, what do you want me to say? Thanks. OK, this is all you need to say. I guess I was just bored with myself, or thought maybe a tattoo can add a little spice to my life. I know, honey, I've been there. We've all been there. But that's when you go to the manicurist and get a crazy color put on your nails. So what is this stuff, anyway? It's I call Will You Still Love Me Tomorrow cream, sort of a standard in the tattoo business. And as I see by my wristwatch, it's time for step two. Is this going to hurt? Please. It wasn't real. Like I said, I knew you'd be calling me. It would have come off on its own in about two weeks, in which case you'd be calling me to complain. 
This way, I save everyone a lot of misery. <laughs> Thank you, Tiny. Thank you. So you were in the car with your mother. Right. Okay, continue. We were on the way home. So I looked out my window, and I saw Riley. We offered him a ride, but Nacho didn't want to get in the car. Interesting. Quite a story. Isn't it? Anyone hungry? <laughs> One question. You said that your cheerleader practice was delayed, which made your mom early picking you up. According to my timeline, you two would have missed each other by nine minutes. Mind if I call your mom? Uh, well. No, you can't. Because it's all a lie. I found Nacho. This is all my fault. That's the truth. <laughs> but, Ro, why didn't you just say you found Nacho? Because he knew he'd get into trouble with me. You're right. <laughs> I didn't want to get in trouble, so I told a little fib. But then it got bigger and bigger. I couldn't keep my story straight. And first of all, I pulled you guys into it. So, I'm sorry. But did you know the whole time? No, not the whole time. But when I found Riley's pants in the dishwasher, I just figured all of your other suspicious behavior had to add up to something. Why were your pants in the dishwasher? It's a long story. Well, my work here is done. I can't wait to see what story she write out of this. Bo, I write to titillate, to inform. What would my headline be? Teen learns valuable lesson about telling the truth. <laughs> Well, you got off easy with Miss Myra, but you're not gonna get off so easy with me. Go ahead. I deserve it. Hmm. Well, didn't you two win some sort of gift certificate to Mama Louise's? Yeah, it's, it's right here. hundred bucks. You want us to return it? No, no, you won it fair and square. But I'm just thinking you boys are gonna take us girls out to dinner tonight. <laughs> <laughs>